I have long been concerned about what goes on in the back hallways at City Hall. I'm certain the majority of Edmonton, Edmontonians share the, the same concerns. You may or may not be aware, but there are active ongoing investigations and criminal proceedings regarding several incidents of alleged theft inside the City of Edmonton. If you're curious, just Google Edmonton sign scandal. I've had a significant amount of whistleblowers come forward to me during my time on council and during the course of this campaign. A recent Freedom of Information document I have been given is quite shocking. Let me be clear, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have only the first 600 pages of an estimated upcoming 12,000 pages. So let me begin. The City Auditor works for Edmonton City Council. They report directly to Council. They must, their work must not be interfered with. The Auditor protects our City from corruption and theft of taxpayers' money. In this VoIP, there are, copies, there are copies of draft audits from the City Auditor. These draft audits contain financial information which is fundamentally different from the final public audit given to City Council. In this VoIP, there is documented evidence that these audits are being changed and edited by members of our executive leadership team. A chain of emails highlights that senior leadership has been given opportunities to provide edits and changes to the audit. This is highly suggestive and raises issues of questions of collusion. This does not appear to me to be in accordance with international standards and professional practices for internal auditing. These are not just language issues being changed, numbers have been changed, recommendations have been removed, entire sections have been removed including a Blanchford report. For example, there's a one million discrepancy of over $1 million between two audits on road sanding. In another example, the draft audit shows consulting services for $97 million. In the final audit, it shows $87 million, a discrepancy of $10 million. Now let's talk about waste management. A lot of people in Edmonton can't understand why they're getting waste pickups half as much as before, but paying more in service fees. As mayor, I'm going to get to the bottom of waste including demanding an external forensic audit. In this VoIP, it shows three re recommendations for Edmonton Waste Management in the draft audit, with only one recommendation making it to the public. There's also discrepancies with the amount of invoices being paid. This information is heavily redacted. To maintain indep independence, I believe external auditors from outside our city should step in to investigate. As Mayor, I will officially ask the Solicitor General, our top cop, and the Min Minister of Municipal Affairs to step in and manage this process. I will also request a confidential process be built outside the City of Edmonton for whistleblowers to come forward regarding criminal complaints. The whistleblowers I have spoken to do not feel safe approaching the City. I will close with this. There are many cases and files that have been sealed by the City that I cannot talk about. I cannot speak freely in many of these, on many of these contracts as I am bound by confidentiality. I believe all city contracts with third parties must have sunset clauses so their contents of how, why, and the results will be revealed in a timely fashion for public scrutiny. Contracts and private deals with the city of Edmonton must not be in private, held in private in perpetuity.